Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Today I'm going to tell you quite an unnerving story, uh, a mysterious story. I'm standing right here by the M62 motorway, right by Scamondon Dam. And this area is known for its uh, stunning views and uh, awful weather. Today we've got quite good weather, as you can see, it's quite sunny. But hidden beneath this stretch of the M62 motorway is a story that has baffled and terrified locals for decades. This is a story of the boy in the tunnel. The M62 motorway completed in the early 70s is a vital artery connecting Liverpool and Hull. It was an engineering marvel of its time, cutting through the rugged Pennine Hills. However, its construction was not without its eerie incidents. Among the most disturbing is the tale of a young boy lost in the labyrinth beneath. Beneath the motorway, there is a network of tunnels and service passages, many of which are rarely accessed. According to local legend, during the construction phase, a young boy from the nearby village went missing. His name was Thomas, and he was just 10 years old. The last place he was seen was near the construction site of the tunnel. For weeks, search parties combed the area, but Thomas was nowhere to be found. The workers were deeply unsettled and rumours began to spread. Some said they heard faint cries for help coming from within the tunnel. But every time they searched, they found nothing. The atmosphere grew tense and some workers refused to enter the tunnels alone. Then one night a worker named George claimed he had seen a small figure at the end of the tunnel, just standing there. When he called out, the figure disappeared into the darkness. George's account was dismissed by some as fatigue or imagination, but others weren't so sure. Over the years, there have been many numerous reports of strange sounds and sightings in the tunnel. Particularly on misty nights, locals say that if you listen closely, you can still hear the soft echoing voice of a child calling for help. Today, the tunnel is mostly forgotten overshadowed by the busy motorway above. But the story of Thomas lingers, a ghostly reminder of the past. Some believe his spirit is still trapped down there, searching for a way out. Whether you believe in ghosts or not, one thing is certain, the M62 at Scamondon holds secrets that may never be fully uncovered. So next time you drive along the M62, spare a thought for the hidden history beneath your wheels. And if you ever find yourself near the Scamondon Tunnel, listen carefully. You might just hear the whispers of a lost boy forever wandering in the dark. So I've been through this tunnel quite a few times and every time I'm a little bit spooked, but a little bit more after telling this story. I'm still gonna take you through. That's about it for this one. I hope you've enjoyed the story. Um, I don't know where I'll be next time, but I know I want you with me. So until the next one, bye.